All right, so energy, how we use it, and how, what else? How we get it. How we get it. Okay? So now looking at the second paragraph, I want you all to read through it and raise your hand when you can tell me what the main idea of paragraph two is. What is it doing in paragraph two? What is the author's purpose for including paragraph two in this passage? What does paragraph two give to us as readers? What kind of information do we get from it? All right, what do you think, Dariana? Okay. Does it talk about the producers in paragraph two? No. What is it? What is it doing, Justin? Similar. Similar. It's showing. It's showing us similar food chains in paragraph two. It's showing us the similarity between the food chain and the background. But is that what the whole paragraph is about? It's talking about the food chain and how the organisms. How the all right, a food chain is similar to a map. It starts with an energy source and shows how different organisms work to harness that energy. Each organism is a different player in the food chain and each is important to the next player in the chain. So if I asked you what, what's the whole gist of that paragraph, what is it trying to do? Maddie? Layers in a food chain, okay? So more or less it's trying to tell me what a food chain is, right? What is a food chain? Uh, okay. It's similar to a map. It starts with an energy store. It's like a organism. So it's showing me what it's explaining. A food chain. Okay, it's kind of showing me the makeup. What is a food chain? What is it made of? What does it do? All right, number three, read that and then raise your hand when you can tell me what the main idea of paragraph three is. All right, Anna Gray. Very good. This one is telling us what are producers and primary consumers? Okay. All right, looking at four. What is four about? the one. This one's first. First you get the producer. Then you got whatever's eating the producer. That's your primary. And whatever's eating the primary is the secondary. And whatever's eating the secondary is the tertiary. Alright, and then the fourth one is the uh, quaternary. So it kind of goes in order. I did all happy trails and bright beginnings to lower pickups. Happy trails and bright beginnings to lower pickups. All right, so let's look at paragraph five. Read paragraph or read paragraph five, and then raise your hand if you can tell me what the main idea for paragraph five is. What is the main idea for paragraph five, Maddie? Gavin. 
hundred and eighteen hundred. Okay, so we learned that energy um, is something you use and something you get. We learned that you get it through a food chain, and in that food chain you have producers, primary consumers, you have other different types of consumers depending on the food chain. It could go several links out. And then we wrap it up with the scavengers and the decomposers. Okay, so now moving over to the other side where it talks about food chains in action. Read to me, or read, read to yourselves and tell me what paragraph six is about. What is the main idea of paragraph six? What is the main idea of paragraph six? All right, what do you think, uh, Dariana? Uh, It tells me how all animals get their energy. Some animals. No. Mm. It, tells, it tells you like what their animals are. Alright, A. Madison, this is an example of a food chain on land. A land chain. <laughs> a land chain. We're at the top of a land chain. The five sizes. Uh -huh. Alright, so this is an example of a food chain on land. So what is seven about? What is seven about? Read to yourself. Food chain in the mo more specifically, what water? What type of body of water? Ocean. The ocean. Salt water. All right. It's an example. The hydro of a food chain. The hydro chain. Oh, I like it. Example of a food. That's of a food chain. In the ocean. Alright. And then that last one ties it all together and wraps it up by telling me not only can I have a food chain and be part of a food chain, but also these different food chains do what, Dory? Um, they, um, food chains are Okay, so what what is that? What is that? Whenever we've got food chains that are linked together, what are those called? Um, Integrate food web. So it tells me what a food web is. All right. So now that I have looked at all eight paragraphs and I have gotten the main idea of all eight paragraphs, let's go to your questions. All right, number one says, what can you infer? There's that word, infer. What does infer mean? Like predicting, guess like, like a, make a so wild brainstorm guess. So we make a wild brainstorm guess. That's how we infer. Yes. Yeah. Is it? No. no. You go with your gut feeling. Cooper. It's going to drink a, it's going to drink a, um, it's guess. On what we know. On what we know and know. what we, what? Information for the passage. Information for the passage. So I'm taking what I know plus what I've read to get what I think. Okay? So I'm taking what I know and what I've read and trying to come up with an inference of what do I think. 
So, what can you infer about energy as it relates to organisms? So, energy as it relates to organisms based on information in the passage. All right, so I look at A. A says energy is beneficial. Yep, it is. Although it is not necessary to the survival of organisms. No. Oh, is it necessary? Yes. So that is not a true statement, so I'm going to put an X on that. B says all organisms make their own energy from the sun. Not all. Who makes their own energy from the sun? Plants. Plants or our fancy word for that are in this passage is what? Producers. Okay, so that's not true. That's not a true statement. Energy is critical to the survival of all living organisms. Maybe. Maybe. I like that maybe. Let's look at D. Energy cannot be passed on from organism to organism. No. That is a false statement. So my answer is C. C. If you, it, you, it passes from one thing to another. Okay? Number two. Which sentence best supports, oh, supports the statement that each organism in a particular food chain is important to the food chain? So I'm looking for an organism is important to the food chain. So I'm looking for a statement that basically tells me that organism is important to the food chain. So let's look at A. A says that a food chain is similar to a map. It starts with an energy source and shows how different organisms work to harness that energy. Does that tell me that an organism is important to a food chain? No, no it's kind of comparing it to a what? A map. Okay. B, each food chain starts with an energy source like the sun. Does that tell me how organisms are important in the food chain? No. That tells me how what is important? Sun. The sun. Is the sun an organism? No. 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 C. When an organism is working on getting energy, they find themselves in a food chain. Does that tell me that an organism is important to a food chain? No. No, that tells me how an organism ends up getting into a food chain, involved in a food chain. So D, each organism is a different player in the food chain and each important to the next player in the chain. Does that tell me that the organisms are important in the food chain? Yes. Yes. Because yes. it says the word important in there, doesn't it? All right. So now let's look at three. Three is a race question. So we're going to start off with restating. What evidence from the text supports the idea that food chains are important to the survival of animals? All right. So I want to go to what evidence from the text supports the idea that food chains are important to the survival of animals? So I'm going to start my sentence off with what? Food chains of animals because the text says alright now I'm going to go back and I'm going to find because it's wanting evidence from the text evidence from the text that means that I've got to have exact words from the text that tells me that food chains are important to the survival of animals. So let's go to paragraph one. Let's go to paragraph one. Paragraph 
one says every organism needs energy to survive. Does that tell me why food chains are important to the survival of animals? No. Well, what do they need? Energy. energy to survive. Where are they getting the energy? From the food chain. So can I infer yes. that every organism needs energy to survive? No. Yes. Every organism needs energy to survive. Where are they getting it from? The food and the food chain. All right. So that says it down here. It says when each organism is working on getting energy, they find themselves in the food chain. So if they need to get energy, what are they part of? The food chain. All right. So in other words, they need energy to survive, so they have to be part of a what? Food chain. Food chain. So I'm going to write those exact words. I'm going to write, every organism needs energy to survive. Every organism needs energy to part of that sentence is when each organism is working on getting energy they find themselves in a food chain when each organism is getting is working on getting energy to survive. When each organism is working on getting energy, they find themselves in a food chain. So does that tell me that food chains are important to the survival of organisms? Yes. Yeah. Yes, because they need energy to survive. How do they get the energy? By being part of a food chain. Okay? And so that's number three. Um, and then we will pick up with number four on tomorrow.